What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Green Hell where we're continuing. This is actually my favorite survival spot in the game. This is actually kind of, I call this the easy mode spot because it basically provides you with all the things you normally have to craft for yourself in order to survive. We will be crafting those things during this little playthrough just so you can like see them and get them into your head as things that exist. There's another camp across the river but it's kind of like piranha infested and it makes me sort of nervous. The other part about this spot that I really really like is that the river is a fantastic navigational tool. Like you know how to get back home to base so like if you build your base out in the middle of the jungle somewhere it's easy to get lost and lose your support network without realizing it. Whereas if you build over here all you gotta do is keep the river on your right and it'll bring you right back home. That's it. And navigation is a huge part of surviving in a foreign environment. If you don't know where you are, you need to start marking landmarks in your head. And you need to start, like, figuring out, you know, where is my shelter? Where is my shade? I lick shots at the full charade. Anyways, this uh, episode brought to you by Rage Against the Machine. We're really, really angry. Now, let's see here. What else we got going on? I'm going to kind of travel down the river and see what we can find. We've got a crossing a little bit further down. That I think is that a crab right there? Oh, there's crabs. Can I catch one? Oh, I got him. Damn. Okay. Yeah, take the. There's no space in my backpack for the crab. Why? Well, that's a horrible revelation. Here, let's let's rearrange slightly. Our toucan meat's gonna go bad in like an hour, so I don't know if that's gonna be that useful. We might as well eat a lot of the stuff that's gonna be rotting anyways. But we definitely need proteins before anything else. And I think crabs might allow that to happen. So visit the jungle. Get crabs, everybody. And the other thing we need to do is we need to get some more leaf type stuff. So I need, like, we got a small leaf pile right there. What I'd like to do is as far as our storage space, if I harvest this guy, is he already rotten? If he's already rotten, like, that's fine. We can throw out some of the bird feathers. I don't think we're going to need that many. You can make arrows later on with, like, a bow. But for right now, it's not, like, pertinent at, that, at this exact immediate moment. But the reason you want leaf piles is that you've got to cure leaves in this game. I don't know what disease they have, but you've got to cure them before you can use them as tinder. you got to dry them out or whatever. And so I like to have a couple piles of leaves in my inventory of all time so that I always have tinder for when I need to make a fire. Uh, do crabs stack? That's my next question. I think maybe might be the answer to that question, but let's go see if we can catch another one. Crab make a mighty fine meal, man. I love crab. Actually, I'm not a huge crustacean fan now that I think about it. Like, things like lobsters and crabs and whatnot, they've never been that important to me. Yeah, take that, dude. Oh, well, there's a couple of capybaras right there. I think I missed my spear throw. Embarrassing. Super embarrassing, you guys. Super embarrassing. Oh, they nerfed it. So you used to be able to kill a critter with one spear. They nerfed it, though, so that doesn't happen anymore. We're going to need, like, multiple spears if we want to make that happen. Intradasting. Okay. That makes survival a little bit more challenging. That was something that I had not expected. Well, actually, I sort of did expect it. I don't know if they eventually die if you spear them, like if they bleed out long dark style. I somehow doubt it. Because this game is kind of early on in its development. And so, like, there are things that are going to be missing when you play this game. Or things that you would expect to happen. That may not necessarily happen. But, like... There's no blood trail or anything. Definitely ran off this way, though. Bummer. Got to make ourselves a new spear. I'm going to need some rocks. That's the other part. I've only got a couple of these left. Yeah. All right. Well, let's make another blade, and we'll make another spear. So maybe I should start carrying, like, multiple spears when I go out. Might be an okay idea to think about. i chop this down, too. I cannot tell you how much of a boon it is for, at the beginning of the game, to pick up that bone knife and the machete from the cocaine camp. Makes life a lot easier. As you get better at blades and crafting and whatnot, uh, the durability will last longer, but for right now, all of our crafted tools are going to have, like, crappy durability. There's not much we can do about it because our crafting skill is so low. If you look, yeah, it's got 26% durability. It's definitely not the best weapon for the job, but maybe someday. Maybe someday our spear crafting skills will become straight radical, bro. Well, I mean, let's go make some crab, I guess. 
We might as well cook it. It's going to last for a day, so let's go start a fire. Can't start a fire. Can't start a fire without a crab. There we go. So we'll grab some liana, too, because I really have not been doing a great job with making sure we keep enough lashings in stock. All right, let's head back down the beach. We're going to cook some dinner. Well, the rain's returned right as I got home, which is unfortunate. So we'll, like, drink some water around here. There we go. Make sure we at least stay hydrated. You got to remember the rule of threes. You got three days without water, three weeks without food, so on and so forth. In addition, if you're sending off a signal, threes are always a sign of distress. So if you light, like, three fires on top of a hill, anybody around with a helicopter, or anybody with a search team will instantaneously know... That you need help. Ooh, a peacock bass. Okay. I'm pretty sure our fire is going to go out if I light it right now. So we may want to wait until this little deluge goes away. It's okay, though. There's always stuff we can try to accomplish around here in the meantime. In the interim. So, like, what other cool stuff can I craft? Let's have a look. So, as far as our notebook goes, what things have we discovered? So, we've got a stone spear... We've got an unknown herb, which apparently I can chew into a paste and turn into some kind of maybe salve, possibly. We've got a water filter over here, a bamboo water collector. We've got stone traps. We've also got a large stick fish trap. That might be a good investment. We have a leaf bed. Can I put the leaf bed over here? Is that possible? I guess not for right now. We can make a palm leaf bed right here. And we do happen to have palm leaves in the area. So maybe put a little effort into this and we can get ourselves a new sleeping area. Make kind of a little shelter over here even though we don't need to really. This is honestly one of the easier crafts if you're trying to get something done in the early game in order to sleep. I would recommend making one of these pretty early. Because you don't want to get caught out without the ability to sleep. Otherwise your stamina is just going to keep draining on you. There we go. We need like one more but there it is. That'll work. Perfect. So there's a leaf bed right there. The other thing that we can do is we can actually make some shelters out here as well. We can make like a little lean-to or something like that. We've got banana roofs and palm roofs. The other option is we can make a hut shelter or like a stick bamboo shelter. Allow us to save our game. We can also make... Oh, there's storage stuff now. Dude, nice. You can make stick storage? Yeah, let's do that. Let's make a, let's make a stick storage over here. That sounds really, really good. I'm okay with that. We need long sticks for it. Oh, we can light our fire and eat dinner now, too. Okay, so what I want to do... And then we got to put tinder in here. Hopefully we have enough stamina to get this done. It's actually really, really hard to do this by hand. It's not easy at all. There we go. So now what we can do is we can take this delicious crab and throw it over there. It looks like it's going to cook up pretty quickly, but our protein levels are just like abysmal right now. We need to do better. Also, I'm having trouble keeping my hydration up, so I'm thinking there might be more coconut in our future. There we go. We're fully hydrated. Hopefully another storm doesn't blow in. If it does, I will be a super sad panda. <gasps> Let's go find some larger sticks that we can build this shelter out of. This guy right here might work. Yeah, let's do that. This guy right here looks good. I do wish that actually it would just fall down as a tree and you could drag it where you want it to go and then convert it into the sticks and stuff that you need. But as of right now, you can't really do that. Got some more sticks over here. Alright, I don't really need a log for the moment. Maybe later on, but for right now, logs are not important to me. Got a large stick right there. Another large stick. Okay. Bring the sack over this way, and hopefully this will give us enough building supplies where... Oh, it's facing the wrong direction. Hmm. Hold on. Yeah, let's let's reface that real fast. I don't like the way that it's facing with regards to my base. So we wanted a stick stand. I'd like that to be, like, right there. That looks good. Break a long stick in half. We need a third long stick, though. Is my crab ready to go? If the crab is ready to go, we'll also try to eat ourselves. Hey, there we go. So we got some red crab all ready to go. Uh, let's go ahead and eat. Yeah, there we go. So we got 18 proteins right there. 
Obviously, I doubt that's going to be enough to, like, top out our meter. But the good news is we have a peacock base over here. I'm sorry, peacock base. A peacock bass. I don't know why I said base. Oh, we might need, like, a bigger thing in order to cook that. We might be able to... Oh, we got to harvest it first? Oh, okay. All right, that's fine. And so now we've got the bass meat. Perfect. Okay, so let's rotate our viewpoint over to here. We'll throw that on the flame. Eat one of those guys, too, just to try to keep our fats up. And while that's cooking, let's see if we can track down one more big stick so that our stick storage will be all good and ready to go. Little stick right there. Oh, no more room in my backpack. Unfortunately, we have deforested to our heart's content, and there's not really a whole lot more we can accomplish over here. I know I've got a leech, by the way. I know, Nerd Castle. I am aware of the fact that I have a leech right now. I'll get it in a minute. It's not immediately important. Alright, couple of ropes in here, and there you go. Oh, wow, that'll hold 40 sticks? Damn, dude, that thing will hold a grip of sticks. Let me get that Liana, too. We used a bunch on that last project, so I'd like to have some more. Stick right there, and then any other sticks around here? What does this harvest into? I forget. It harvests into sticks and planks. Okay. Uh, planks won't fit in our inventory right now. But sticks are good. If we get, like, a full stock of, like, 40 sticks over here, I'd be pretty happy about it. There we go. Uh, let me inspect myself for... Check myself for ticks here. Must be on our legs. There he is. Get off me, you little bastard. Get out of here. Is that ready to go? All right, dude. Yup. Are you ready? Ooh, it's about to be some delicious dinner up in here. 10 energy, 27 proteins. That right there is what I'm talking about. That's the good stuff. We also need... Can I put an egg on the fire? Yeah, make an egg. Why not? I found an egg in a bird's nest on the way back. Might as well. And then we've also got that macaw meat, so we might as well throw that on there too. Although I think the f it's about to start raining, so our fire may go out. So that is now officially a hard-boiled egg. Good! It gave us fats! Hell yeah! If our fire goes out, that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. It'll be a little bit of a bummer, but such is life. Sometimes things are a bummer. What can I craft out of these? Anything? Hmm. I can harvest it? What can I harvest it for? A fiber. The hell is a fiber for? Lighting fires, maybe? Oh, it stayed lit. Nice. Apparently, this counts as shelter down underneath there. Good. I was worried they were going to nerf that. Like, it's one of those things that whenever I make my camp here, I tend to, like, make a fire underneath this thing because it gets you out of the rain. And one of the biggest things in this game that drove me nuts when it first came out is that the rainfall, so the game makes, like, an internal dice roll whenever you light a fire to see if it starts raining, like, in the next ten minutes. And, like, it's just like, oh, God. Like, I've actually seen it, so I did this one time on stream. We were playing this game. Uh, and I lit four fires in a row. And every single time it started raining right after I did the fire and it would stop raining. The second that I didn't have a fire lit, it would stop. Oh my god, it was infuriating. Molinaria. Oh, this makes bandages. Nice, dude. We need those. These have a mild antibiotic quality as far as I understand it. So you can actually use them as a dressing. There we go. We'll make another one. Having a nice little stack of bandages at any given time is a good idea, too, just in case we suffer any kind of damage from an enemy or something like that. Um, I think it's a good idea for us to just continue stockpiling things. I mean, there are other crafting projects that we can get into for right now. So, like, let's say that we go into here. We can also make a small stick stand. We've got a log stand. We've got a long stick stand. Basically a bunch of storage mediums. But I actually don't think it's that terrible of a plan... To maybe do some of this stuff. <gasps> Although I do need this brush to be cleared. Get out of here. There we go. So it just takes a couple of sticks for this one. Ten. 
take one right there. And some ropes, and apparently now we have a stand for our smaller sticks as well. Good. So as we're like tooling around the landscape and looking at things, we'll kind of get that done. I think I'm in the need for a bath right now, in all honesty. So we'll wash up in the river real quick. There we go. Get cleaned up ever so slightly. Uh, we'll try to stay away from piranhas out here. Because obviously they're around. There's like one right there. I don't know if I can spear him. Oh, I can. Cool. Yeah, let's do it. Well, apparently piranhas have a big problem with me right now. I was unaware that they were going to attack me directly, but I suppose I am a little bit wounded. Let me take a look at my body real fast and make sure I don't have any cuts or wounds. Oh, yeah. That's not good. We're going to have to treat that. However... Was on my left leg. There we go. Open up the backpack. Wrap that bad boy up. Perfect. We're a little bit wounded right now, but that'll get us by. It's not a perfect solution, but it is a solution. I wish we had like a bridge right here or something. Like it'd be cool if you could build a bridge so that we could get across the river easily without risking being bitten by evil little dragonfish. <laughs> But there should be a camp up here somewhere, unless they moved it. Like, there used to be... Well, there's a snake. There's a snake. I don't know where he is. But, dude, my heart literally jumped when I heard that. It's kind of weird how deep-seated, like, our ancient monkey ancestors have that. Where, like, when you hear a snake like that, it automatically makes you freak the hell out. Like, it's just, like, instinct. You don't even know what you're freaking out about until, like, a moment or two later when your brain locks in on it. But when you hear that noise, you absolutely 100% know... Stay away. I don't see anything over there. God, I love the lighting, dude. It looks so good. Like, look how pretty it is. It's just purdy. It's just so purdy. I should probably be picking up sticks and stuff now that we have storage while I'm running around. Sticks and stones and all that. Sticks and stones. I always need more rocks, so I'm not going to hesitate to keep breaking down stones. How much Liana do I have? Not enough. Let's grab a little bit more. Perfect. I think they removed the big native camp. It's just like a little native camp over here. Uh, we've apparently learned how to make a much better campfire on that side. I don't know what this is. Maybe a drying rack is what it looks like, possibly, for, like, curing things. So we've got stone rings. What's over there? It's not a leopard, is it? I really don't feel like dealing with a leopard right now. I will take the coconut bowl. And we've got a medium bamboo shelter. That actually looks pretty good, and it gets you up off the ground. Not bad. Oh, a bow. Hell yeah. Okay. Can do that. Some coconuts over here. Maybe we'll stay here for tonight. Like, crash out over on this side. There's a banana plant around. We could use the carbs. We could also use the fats. That'll work for now. I'll probably clear all that out. Didn't really get any carbs, though. I don't know if the coconut gives us carbs. But, like, I'm gonna try... Also, this gives us an opportunity to bring back five or six more coconut bowls that we can just leave out for rainwater. How thirsty am I? Thirsty enough? Alright, let's harvest this dude. And we will eat you. Om nom 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 nom. We will harvest you. And once again, om nom 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 nom. Om nom 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 nom. nom. Good. Alright, so coconuts, there's a stick blade too. 
the difference between a stick blade and like a normal blade? Just saying, it's a valid question. I don't know the difference between the two. A bunch of free bamboo over here, long bamboo sticks, bamboo logs. And yeah, they've got a decent amount of crafting items over here. I'm not like inherently against it. So I assume that this is for curing meat. I don't know if I trust that. Something tells me if there's a reason why the natives left. Chances are... There's a reason I should leave. Like, if a group of people that are much better and adept at surviving in this environment decided to piss off, it makes me kind of feel like maybe I should too. Anyways, we'll save our game real fast. Absolutely sounds good. And then now that we've got that saved, can I just like sleep here? Yeah, let's do it. We got a lot of energy to restore anyways, and frankly, I don't really feel like being awake during the night. We're going to be up at 2.40, which is kind of a bummer, but eh, we'll wait for sunlight, and then we'll probably resume. We made it back to camp. Morning is dawning. Another day in the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Won't you wanna hold me? What is that? What is that glowing thing over there? There's a glowing thing over there. What is it? Is that a fire? Hmm. I'm gonna like ready up, but we're gonna go look at that and see what it is. It might just be like a weird reflection. It might just be a mirage, a figment of my overstrained jungle imagination. But I am interested in it, whatever it is. Here, let me get these sticks while I'm over here too. Yeah, sticks for the storage. There's something satisfying about stacking up a whole bunch of things. Like, have you ever noticed how satisfying it is to stack up uniform objects? That's the entire concept behind Legos is that it's really, really fun to stack objects that all kind of look alike. That's all I'm saying. I guess I won't waste my spears. I will get dinner, though. That looks good. I'm glad we have, like, a good crab supply over here. And, in fact, if you know that there's crabs in an area, crabs are really, really easy to catch. They aren't that difficult of an... Oh, we can get some snake plug right here. There we go. There we go. Snake make a mighty fine meal. Just be careful. Snakes can bite after, like, a while. After they die, their jaws are still motile or whatever. Like, they, they react based on, like, nerves when you touch them. And so you can still get bit and poisoned or envenomed by a snake that's been dead for a little bit. I've seen a snake's head that won't stop trying to bite after you chop the head off for a while. So don't trust it. If you kill the damn thing, maybe set it off to the side for a little while or, you know... Put the head on a stick and chuck it out into the water or something. Let a fish deal with it, is my opinion. Be careful about it, though, because snakes can be a little unruly like that. You don't want to mess around with venomous stuff that'll get your ass killed. I don't see... Especially since a lot of the snakes out in environments like this. The rattlers where we're at, my neighbor got bitten by a rattler a while back. Like, when I was living at my parents' house, they live in the country, and my neighbor went down to her mailbox to pick up her mail. And there was a baby rattlesnake in the brush next to her mailbox and it lashed out and bit her with no warning. There was no rattle or anything. And so, she said that by the time she had walked back to the house, she couldn't move her jaw anymore and her fingers were starting to stiffen up. Venom will kill you quick. It'll kill you real quick. They airlifted her to the hospital and hit her with anti-venom, but that stuff ain't cheap. Very, very expensive for something specific like anti-venom. Especially with American healthcare being what it is. Like, getting bit by a snake is not a thing that happens very often, so they don't keep a lot of venom on hand, and it's costly to extract the venom as far as I earn. Because, like, the anti-venom is made using the venom itself, so they gotta milk the snakes. And apparently it's very, very difficult, dangerous, and costly to do, because that stuff is expensive. How are we looking on carbs right now? We okay? I'm gonna eat these real fast. If you got any parasites, that'll clear them out. But yeah, rattlesnake meat's good stuff. If you didn't know, if you've never had snake plug before, rattlesnake's good. You cut the head off, you cut them straight down the stomach, you clear out the stomach contents, and you splay them out on a stick over a fire. Not bad. It doesn't taste bad. You might think that snake wouldn't taste good, but hey, it's a meal, man. It's a meal. I don't see anything over here. I'm trying to keep the river within my eye line, though. I'm not trying to lose my way back. To our shelter. 
This looks like it's actually devolving into a little creek over here. We might find something useful, but I feel like this is a good time for exploration and figuring out what exists in these areas. Got some bigger stones a little bit further down. But it looks like this endos out and doesn't turn into anything of note, as far as I can tell. Hello, kitty! My survival kitty has arrived. That's right. If we are in a survival situation, I would be forced to eat you, kitty! Nom 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 nom. He's hanging out on my lap right now. He decided to jump up and get some, get some afternoon cuds. Me and Ollie have a weird relationship. Like, I like Ollie, and I think Ollie's a lot of fun. But that doesn't change the fact that he's the most unruly little bastard cat that I've ever owned. He's basically like half feral, and he's almost... It's impossible for him to go more than 24 hours without, like, breaking something, getting into trouble, or generally causing a problem. If there is peace in the kingdom, he cannot stand it. Yeah, I'll definitely take some more maggots. We can use that for baiting up some traps. Got bones over here, too. wonder how hard it is to make a bone blade. Can't be that hard, right? Oh, we're kind of full up on stuff right now, though. We may have to go back to camp and kind of unload some of this stuff. Oh, we got piranha, too? Man. I didn't realize we had piranha on us, too. Dude, we got all kinds of food at the moment. We're going to be eating pretty good by the end of the day. I tell you what. I tell you what. We're going to be eating pretty good. Now, let's see here. Mushrooms. I don't really mess around with mushrooms, man. Maybe it's just, like, geographically where I live, but all of the mushrooms where I'm at have, like, a neurotoxin in them. Where, like, if you touch them too much, it'll, like, sink into your skin and make you all sick and weird. And so, like, just mushrooms where I live are a really bad plan. Mushrooms in general. Eh. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Unless you're, unless you're like, a... Unless you're, like, a mycologist or something and you can tell the difference. I wouldn't. Is this our river right here? I think this is. Pretty sure this is the fork up here. We can explore the other end of it too. I think we'll probably do that in the next episode. Is we'll throw the river on our... There's a turtle? Oh, we've got natives. What does a turtle have on him? Can I get the shell? Yeah, you can. You can get the tortoise shell. Um. Consider for a moment that maybe we should figure out a way to get this inside of our inventory for future notice. Might not be a terrible plan. Got a lot of dry leaves and whatnot. Is there a way to move, like, the entire stack? Guess not. I'm gonna get rid of the feathers. I feel like we can always get more. But I want this turtle shell. Yeah. I don't know what we do with a turtle shell. But... I kind of feel like maybe we can use the turtle shell for something useful. There's a native over here. So, oh, yeah, there he is. Just, like, chilling. Let's leave him alone. We're going to give him a wide berth until we know that they're friendly or not. As far as I know, natives only attack in this game if your sanity has fallen off and gotten to a certain level. Because they see you as a threat. Because you're, like, being erratic and, like, talking to the sky and pretending to be Princess Ladybug. But... I think they leave you alone so long as your sanity is good. So we shouldn't have to worry about it too much. We're good on pretty much every front out here. I'm not too worried about what we have going on. Probably insert a couple of sticks in each of these stands. So we got our building materials ready to go, but that's it. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for another episode of Green Hell. I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. It's been a blast, everybody. I hope that you've had a wonderful day. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. I know it's annoying when content creators remind you of that. But it does help out the channel enough, and that's pretty much like what we're graded on nowadays as content creators. So we do appreciate it, and it does help out a lot. I'll see you all later. I look forward to seeing you all in the comments, and hi-do.